Hey my frugal friends, who are gone. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Frugality is Life. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit that notification bell so you're made aware as soon as I upload a new video. Please always remember to like the videos and share them as well. And just so I know you made it into the video, please leave your dollar sign in the comment section below. Welcome back. Do you know what we're doing? We're trying to see how much I save for the month of October so i mean let's go into it let's let's just get it started so i wanted to let you guys know if you had um printed off the giveaway um saving challenges um and if you haven't seen our videos please go check the video that has this thumbnail check my video that has this thumbnail it will give you all the details but i'm i have collaborated with Sita Budgetin Journey and um, we will be doing a huge giveaway when we hit 1k subscribers. Please go back to this video, the video with this thumbnail. If you share the video, you get an extra entry. Otherwise, just leave a uh, hashtag roll to 1k in that video. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, watch it to the end. Give us some watch hours. <laughs> um, and if you printed off those and you're saving with us, then I did make, uh, I don't know, I crushed it up, but I did make a dashboard for it. It's new. I realized that, hey, we needed a dashboard. So this is now in my freebie link. You can access it along with my all my other freebies. It will say dashboard, show me the love freebie or something like that. So you can print off the dashboard to help you when, and it can be used for both challenges, as you can see. You can be used for this one, you can be used for this one. Same, you just need to print it once. So remember, please go back to the video where you see this dashboard. Share it. If you have a channel, share, share. Please share that video. And you will be entered with an extra entry into the giveaway when we hit 1K. Okay, let's jump into it. I wanted to show you that. And we are just going to jump right in these are the challenges that i've finished throughout the month and i wanted to go through them with you look at this huge paper clip that i found guys like it's massive i got it at work <laughs> so <shh. laughs> okay so don't say anything i got it at work huge i love it absolutely love it look how massive it is it's like half the size of my my tray there Okay, so let's go through the challenges quickly that I finished. And I'm just going to um, tell you where I got them. So this is possibilities of our endless. I saved $15 with this from ten, uh, Toya's ten Tenacious Life. From Toya's Tenacious Life. And this is the 15. September, this was from Brandy Janae. And that saved $100. So I'm not counting it again. So let's hope this is not a hot mess. And this this is on my um, Etsy. Self-care is never selfish. And mm, I believe it should be $25 that, it's, that we saved. So there we go. This was a freebie from My PC is Priceless. And we saved $50. So... Throw that in. This one was from uh, Sisters on a Budget and we saved $90. This one was from Sam's Cash Stuffing World and we saved $100. This one was from the Almost Organized All, and we saved $40. This one was from Brandy Janae, and we saved $100. So there you go. Those were the challenges I finished. Now, October, I didn't do like i didn't finish a ton of challenges i have a lot i had a lot going on i have a lot of challenges and also what i decided to do at the end of the year is i'm gonna save as much in my saving challenges for until the end of the year but at the end of the year 
whatever is finished i'm going to stuff in my sinking funds or wherever they should be allocated and then whatever is not finished i'm still going to take those money out and stuff them in sinking funds and then start all over in january either say start new saving challenges or start that same challenge all over in january so that's what i'm going to do because i just don't want any straggling money at the end of the year and i just i want to be able to put all that into the bank and just start new so that's what i'm going to do let's see so in total this is my breakdown uh, let me just make sure you can see. So October saving challenges. These are the saving challenges I finished. Two, four, six, eight, and then total five hundred and twenty. And if I was stuffing my usual sinking funds, I would have saved four sixty five. So you saw that I saved fifty five dollars extra with the saving challenges, and all that money is going to be allocated in my sinking funds and my one hundred envelope challenge. So let's start with the one hundred envelope challenge, shall we? And get that out of the way so i'm happy we saved 520 dollars saving is saving and i'm absolutely happy about that so my 100 envelope challenge we are going to put 40 dollars into it and get that done so 40 will go into this so we will finish that row which is the tens and let's see i've finished a few rows oops i've finished a few, few rows so let's put the 40 in the tens where is that here 40 going in so this is if you're also new this is how i'm doing my 100 envelopes this saving challenge came in very handy this is from um lisa grateful me the happy mailbox go on etsy it was just perfect so i'm putting in the 40 dollars and then this will be fully funded so these are also available on my etsy shop so this one will be fully funded i'm just going to put it this way because usually that's how i open it uh, and that's done. Also, my 20s are fully funded. So let's, while we're here, throw this into here. Just show fully funded. And 40s are fully funded. And guys, I'm trying to finish this by the end of the year. I will finish this by the end of the year. I will. <laughs> and I'm going to, so stay tuned for when I finish it and the reallocation of that and this one is fully funded so which is the hundreds all fully funded and so we have to work through finishing the 30s the 60s 70s the 80s haven't been started and the 90s haven't been started but don't worry we're gonna make some progress right and the goal is to get this done by the end of the year which we shall so let's put this aside and we're done with our binder so the next thing oops the next thing we're going to do is we are going to let's put some money into our sinking funds binder okay so um eventually these will all be moved over into this baby right here because this is where i am with my sinking funds i'm just gonna put it over right now why not right sinking funds this was the section and i'm just gonna pull these out all of these out and these will be um reallocated over here so birthday i am going to put 45 into this one so this would actually end this tracker um and i need so we would have saved 250 so i am um, should we just plug it in maybe let's just plug it into this one so so anyway so we're going to put 40 
45. It's a birthday. So 45. Let's see. Should we count it? I don't want this to be a super long video. Because then my phone acts up on me. You know, the iPhone and the storage issues. Maybe I won't count them all. Um, but maybe I'll just throw this in. So anyways, birthday is going to get 45. And this saving tracker would, would have been done and I would have 20 extra. So let's put this in birthday. And I will come back off camera and I will... Uh, I will do this properly but for now we're just gonna throw it in to here okay emergency fund which i will not be using that term anymore the term for that is abundant funds because we want abundance okay we are we are preaching we are uh, beckoning we are uh we are summoning abundance so this one we are going to put fifty dollars in just this and some of this money is already in the bank with those so you can see placeholders are in here which is fine so i will update those and i have new trackers in some of these like this one but yeah and i'm just gonna let's throw this in so i will be able to reconcile and then car maintenance a lot like almost all this money is gone guys because i used it for my um um to do a oil change and some stuff with the car like i used it for the purpose it was intended let's let's leave it at that <laughs> so there's only like 25 bucks in here but that's okay and then clothing I'm not as familiar with where I put these yet. <laughs> it is new for clothing. Let's throw it in here. I believe we have like 80 bucks into this one. Okay, we were just putting the thing in here and I realized we weren't putting the money. Okay, so let's see. Clothing needs 45. I was trying to rush, but then I messed everything up. So 45 is going into here. Car maintenance is gonna get 75. I'll update all these trackers. When I am off camera, but that's where it is. Just throw these in for right now. Um, and birthday, I did give birthday its, its amount. So let's see, new vehicle is going to get 50. Household. I don't have anything for household. Clothing, we've got to hit birthday travel. I'm not ready to move these away. Travel, okay, let's grab the travel ones so the travel ones i will only move over once um, once i'm done saving like funding the saving challenges in these in this binder i will move over um, that to the sinking funds binder i just want a diff different binders for my travel okay <laughs> so i can focus so travel is going to get 125 but we're just gonna throw it in here i'm not gonna update my trackers or anything so that's 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 30 40 50 60 100, 10, 20. So I'm just gonna throw these in here and I'll update my trackers. Um, 
offline and when i'm finished with these saving challenges then they will go into my sinking fund binder so that is travel and then i have birthday travel because this is specifically for my birthday for next year and birthday travel is going to get 75 so let's see I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 75. There we go. So, once I finish uh, with all these saving challenges, then I will move this over. Okay, so that's that. I don't think I'm going to move birthday travel. That's going to remain, but the travel binder, those are going to move over into my sinking fund. Okay, so we should have $15 left here. And what we're going to do, because we have to sprinkle a little into a beautiful, beautiful home binder. And what we are going to do is we're going to put this 15 into um, some areas here. So, let's see. Uh, I'm going to put... This is other costs because I'm not just um, saving the down payment, but we have to also save for other costs that is involved in purchasing a home, right? So we are going to put five dollars into this one. So, let's hope this marker works because I don't know. Five dollars and these dashboard work perfectly because I don't have to worry about it rubbing off. I'll just put it there and it, if it rubs off, it rubs off on the back of the dashboard, which is fine. And then moving expenses, we are gonna put 10 into this one because we know these add up really fast. And I want this binder and all the saving challenges inside from a Give away. And there we go. Okay, there we go. So there, yeah, all allocated. We saved 520. It's all allocated into sinking funds and all these beautiful saving challenges helped me to do so so thank you so much for watching please make sure that you like the video and you left your dollar sign in the comments section below let me know how your savings went for october did you pay off any debt how did that work like what's your progress have you had any setbacks and if you have had any setbacks don't worry about it just keep forging forward because perseverance consistency that's key until next time, keep budgeting, stay frugal, and walk good. Bye!